Hello everyone. I am going to do another embellishment and uh, I did this pour, ring pour, yesterday and it's dried beautifully. Now I'm going to put these birds on it. Silhouette in black. So I printed it out in the uh, uh, computer off of Pinterest and uh, I got white graphite paper. I placed it on where I wanted it, put the paper underneath and I drew it out. So I have an outline of what I want to do. Okay, so I'm using Amsterdam black oxide black and I got myself some new brushes which I am so happy with well I hope I'm going to be happy first time using them so here we go. You can see, I don't, I hope you can see the outline in white. And that's where I'm going to put these beautiful little birds. I might have you on some funny angles as I'm trying to to do this, but I'll show you a close up at the end. not very good at sketching out myself so that's why I printed off the uh, off of Pinterest and uh, printed them and traced them I used to do this years ago in folk art and uh, this I haven't done it for so long that it's like I'm learning all over again but that's the fun of this uh, art everything is different every composite is different a few hours going through all the different pictures before I made my mind up what I wanted to do. I love my Dutch pours, but this is something a little different. I was uh, needing to explore into uh, different things. So I hope you will enjoy this. As I get better, maybe I can give you a better tutorial on this. Right now, I, I was going to do it off camera and then I'm going, nah. I got so many questions. How did you do this? What did you use?
after it dries I'll rub out the little white lines that I I didn't uh, go over. Fine with that too bad. Let me see if I can do the two birds. need to do now is stick my hand in the wet black paint. That would be my luck. I'm going to well, it's going to go behind that rock but I don't know. I'll wait until the end and decide that. watch other artists do this they do it with such ease and then when I try it I'm going oh it doesn't look as easy as when they do it a beak. And on my table, I've just got uh, freezer paper with the signy shied up. So it's uh, it's great for scraping off your leftover paint and for uh, a palette to put the paint on. be a very short uh, video. It's going pretty fast. Okay, one bird done, one to go. I do know one thing, my hand isn't as steady and my eyesight isn't as good as it was when I did this. Oh God, it's gotta be 30 years ago.
things I used to do back then, run after the kids, paint walls, wallpaper, do my crafting. <laughs> now I just think about it and it tires me out. Just added just that little touch to this uh, beautiful little painting. I'll wait for that to dry. I'll give it another coat. And then tomorrow I'll give it uh, three or four coats of varnish. And then it'll be done. Um, let me see if you can see it. I got my phone above my head, so I'm not sure what you're seeing, but there it is. I like it. Okay. I'm going to give it another coat and then uh, I'll bring it back and bring it, the camera right down for a close up. <laughs> 